What's up guys, Davey here from PhoneBuff and in this video we're going to be comparing Microsoft's flagship smartphone in the Nokia Lumia 920 against Apple's in the iPhone 5 to see which smartphone comes out on top between the two. Now these are two very different smartphones as you guys can see and they take different approaches to what a smartphone should be but they each have their own set of pros and cons so we're going to go ahead and compare them in this video to see which one at least is better for you between the two. We'll start off this comparison like we usually do by comparing the build quality and design of each phone. The Lumia 920 is made up of a solid feeling polycarbonate material that's colored all the way through, which means any scuffs and scratches you may encounter will be less noticeable than it would be on the iPhone 5. The 920 weighs in at a hefty 185 grams, making it almost 65% heavier than the iPhone 5, and it doesn't do a great job at hiding that weight either with a 10.7mm thickness. This may seem like a deal breaker, and for many it just might be, but personally I think its weight and thickness play quite well into the premium and durable feel that Nokia has been known for over time. The iPhone 5 has a premium look and feel to it as well, with an all glass and anodized aluminum body, but it's a different type of premium compared to the Lumia 920. If the 920's body were to be a luxury sedan, then the iPhone 5's would be more like a sports car with a slight weight of 112 grams and its 28% thinner profile which measures in at just 7.6mm thick. And not only is the iPhone thinner and lighter, but it also is not as wide as the Lumia which makes it a little bit easier to hold and use in one hand. The two phones are really, really close when it comes to build quality and design, but if I had to give an edge to any one phone here, it would be the Lumia 920. I only say this because despite its unfavorable size and weight, the 920 is available in more colors than the iPhone 5 is, and has ergonomic curves on the back and edges that kind of make up for its bulgy size. And the durability of the phone is just downright impressive. Just watch some of the durability tests on the channel if you don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, with the design and build quality out of the way, let's take a look at the displays on each smartphone. The Lumia 920 has a 4.5 inch Pure Motion Plus IPS display with a resolution of 1280 by 768 giving you a PPI of 331. The iPhone 5 on the other hand has a 4 inch Retina display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 garnering a PPI of 326. When it comes to brightness and viewing angles, both screens are among the best available. But from our experience, the iPhone 5 looks brighter when indoors and seems to have slightly better viewing angles as a result. However, the clear black technology in the 920 that causes this makes up for the dimmer screen with better outdoor visibility. When you consider the bigger screen size, higher HD resolution and pixel density, along with its more sensitive touchscreen that can be used with gloves or a pen, you have to give the win to the Lumia 920 in the display category. When it comes to performance, both phones sport a dual core processor with a gig of RAM. The Lumia 920 has the Snapdragon S4 under the hood while the iPhone 5 has Apple's custom A6 chip. So how do they perform you ask? Well, from our tests, the iPhone 5 booted up, loaded apps, and browsed the web faster than the Lumia 920 did, giving it the clear advantage in the performance category. You would think that with its superior performance and slimmer design, the smaller 1440mAh battery on the iPhone 5 wouldn't last as long as the 2000mAh battery on the Lumia 920, but you'd be wrong. Thanks to its smaller screen size and perhaps a few software optimizations, the iPhone 5 actually lasted us longer than the Lumia 920 did in our tests, giving it the edge in the battery department. The saying goes that the best camera is the one that you have on you, and luckily, both of these smartphones have great cameras. The Lumia 920 sports an 8.7 megapixel camera with Carl Zeiss lens and LED flash. It also has optical image stabilization, where little springs absorb the movement of a shaky hand to help produce clear images and stable video. The iPhone 5 on the other hand has an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, and its built-in app gives you the option for panorama and HDR modes where you'd have to download a separate app on the Lumia to get. The 920's built-in app does however let you change things like ISO and exposure, giving you more control over how your photos look. Overall, we found that the Nokia's camera produced slightly better pictures and much better video than the iPhone 5's, giving the win to the Lumia in this category. Because both phones lack the option for expandable storage, the battle on the storage front comes down to which manufacturer offers the highest memory model, which in this case is Apple with an available 64GB iPhone 5 compared to the 32GB found on the highest model of the Lumia 920. Of course, this doesn't really matter if you don't plan on getting a phone with 64GB, but it's still something worth mentioning. With both phones having a 3 microphone setup and support for HD voice, the call quality is great on either device. The speakers aren't too bad either, here's a sample of both.
In our opinion, the Lumina and 20 stereo speakers had louder and fuller output than the iPhone 5s, giving it the win in this category. Agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments down below. When it comes to the software side of things, it really depends on what you prefer between Windows Phone 8 and iOS 6.1. Both operating systems offer unique features and benefits that go beyond the scope of this video, but the thing we think is worth mentioning here is the huge advantage the iPhone 5 has when it comes to available apps. While a lot of the major apps out there have come or are coming to Windows Phone, the fact remains that some of the apps you may use on your current phone, be it an older iPhone or an Android device, won't be available on the Lumia 920. And because of this, the iPhone 5 has a clear advantage in this department. Some of the notable features on the Lumi 920 are that, unlike the iPhone 5, it has a dedicated camera button with a two-stage shutter, it has Qi wireless charging capability so you can finally dish the wire, and it supports near-field communications or NFC. Notable features on the iPhone 5 are that it has a dedicated vibrate switch, it has HDMI output via its lightning port, and that it comes with Apple's EarPod headphones inside the box. Before deciding on which phone is best for you, the final thing you should consider is the price. I'll drop some Amazon links down in the description box below, but the gist of it is that the Lumina 920 is currently available for as low as $50 with a 2 year agreement and costs $450 at full retail for the 32GB version. The iPhone 5 on the other hand is available for $200 with a 2 year agreement and costs $650 at full retail for the same 16GB version. The $100 to $200 difference isn't pocket change for most people, so pricing is definitely an advantage the Lumina 920 has over the iPhone 5. Alright, there you have it. That's our take on the Nokia Lumina 920 versus the Apple iPhone 5. Like I said in the beginning of the video, both phones have a lot to offer and each has their own set of pros and cons. When it comes to choosing which phone is best for you, it's not just about counting the pros and cons of each device, but determining how important each one of those pros and cons are to you. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.